120 people are moving to the Charlotte area every single day, making it one of the fastest growing cities in the country. And today I'm going to give you answers that my team and I get to the top five commonly asked questions. Chances are, if you're thinking about moving to the Charlotte area or moving within the Charlotte area, you have these same questions. So stay tuned, because we're gonna get into that right about now. What's going on family? I'm Sir Ashley, your Charlotte area real estate advisor. And if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. Thank you for coming, thank you for watching. And if you're interested in learning about Charlotte and Charlotte area news as it pertains to real estate, then click the subscribe button and tap that little bell icon so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. When you're moving to a new place, we all have the same questions and concerns because we're not totally familiar with the area. So in this video, I'm going to try to alleviate some of those questions or concerns. Here are my five best answers to your commonly asked questions. And if you have a question that is not addressed in this video, please go ahead and leave that question in the comment section and I'll be sure to make a video of it in the future. The number one question I commonly get asked about is diversity. People want to know how diverse is the city. And I get that question asked by all different races. And I believe I get asked that question because in my previous videos, I don't consider talking about race or diversity as taboo. And because I'm comfortable with it, people feel comfortable asking me. So I appreciate that. Keep your comments and questions coming. Charlotte is very diverse and full of various cultures. It is in the South, but it is one of the least Southern cities I've been in outside of Miami and Atlanta. You see, Charlotte is full of transplants that have moved here from around the country and around the world for that matter. And these transplants, along with myself, I consider myself a transplant, we bring our own diverse thoughts and beliefs to the Charlotte area. Now, Charlotte itself is rich in history, culture, and diversity. From Harvey Gantt to V. Lyles to Alma Adams, minorities can look around the city, past and present, and see how they were and are being represented. If you look behind me, you can't really see behind me, but I'm out here today and playing on this volleyball court behind me are people of all races and creeds. Like any other city, there are pockets within it where you see a lot of cultural mixing and the sharing of diverse thoughts and views. But if you want to remain in a homogenous, non-diverse bubble, there are areas of Charlotte and surrounding where you can do that as well. It all comes down to the old adage, you find what you seek. Two of the main drivers for diversity here in Charlotte is the banking system and the healthcare system. Charlotte is the retail banking capital of the US. Banking and healthcare bring people here from all kinds of backgrounds, nationalities, religions, and belief system. Now, when people ask me about diversity in this city, it's clear to me that they really want to know is if they're going to be accepted here or not. And will they have the opportunity to find a community of people that they will fit in with? They also want to know where their kids get the benefit of having the opportunity to be exposed to other people in other cultures. Can Charlotte offer me that? And I'm here to tell you that after living here for 11 years, the answer is unequivocally, yes, Charlotte can offer you that. The second thing I commonly get asked about is crime. Everyone wants to know what is the crime like in Charlotte? Sir, is this area safe? Sir, is that area safe? Where's their safe place to live in Charlotte? Is it even safe in Charlotte or should I go to one of the surrounding areas around Charlotte to live? Now, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I keep it raw and real with you. So please do not expect anything different in this video right here. Yes, Charlotte has a higher than average amount of crime compared to similar cities, but a lot of those crimes are property crimes like theft and burglary. And by no means am I downplaying or minimizing those crimes. But with a little common sense, I believe those crimes could have been prevented. Now, I'm not sure if they have it where you are, but here in my community, we have this um, social network called Nextdoor. And it's just a uh, social network where everybody in the community gets to chat and basically express their grievances. And on this Nextdoor app, no lie, at least twice a month, I hear people complaining about their car getting broken into or something being stolen. But then once you read down the post, you will see that one, they didn't lock their doors, or two, they didn't lock their car. Now, I'm not sure where you're from, but where I'm from, again, I'm from upstate New York, we made sure when we weren't home or even when we were home, our doors were locked, and we made sure that when we go to bed at night, our cars are locked. 
So again, I'm not minimizing the amount of crime or the type of crime as far as property crime, but if you use the little common sense and just simply lock the doors, in a lot of instances, I believe those crimes could have been avoided. Now, even with the higher than average crime rate, Charlotte has recently ranked as a top 15 city to live in in 2020 by two recent studies that came out in October 2020. But to answer everyone's question, yes, we have crime here in Charlotte. How bad is it? Well, again, I told you it's above average, but I believe a lot of it could be avoided if people were just a little bit more prudent and wise. Yes, there are rough parts in Charlotte and the surrounding areas, but that's true for just about anywhere you live. Now, I can say that in the 11 years I've lived here, I've lived in South Charlotte, I lived in Uptown, I lived in North Charlotte, and Huntersville, and my family and I have always felt safe. The number three question I commonly get asked is, what is the weather like here in Charlotte? And I get that question a lot from people in the Midwest and coming from up north. And I can tell you that summer is very hot and very humid. I try to stay inside most of the summer. But Charlotte has all four seasons, and the seasons are pretty distinct. Albeit winter is fairly short, it snows about two to three times a year, and the entire city, let me repeat that, the entire city shuts down with a hint of snow. Look, I'm from upstate New York, and it's sort of a prerequisite that in order to be born in upstate New York, you have to be able to know how to drive in the snow. So I found it funny and a little bit nonsensical when I got here and I saw that the whole city shut down over some fear of snowfall. But after being here for quite a significant time, I get it. Charlotte residents have a tough time driving on a normal day. So yes, they have a very difficult time driving when there's any inclement weather. Look, I'm sorry, Charlotte residents, but we both know it's true. To me, fall is the best time of the year. The weather is pretty much perfect with temperatures in the 60s and the 70s with a little bit of breeze. The weather is ideal. And due to our location, Charlotte misses out on most of the extreme weather. We don't get the hurricane scares like you would in Wilmington or Charleston, but recently we have gotten the occasional small tornado. Quite odd, but in the past few years we have gotten some small tornadoes. Now this is interesting. Not too long ago I got a text from a former client asking if everything was okay because they heard we had an earthquake. And to be honest with you, I didn't quite feel anything. But I checked the Nextdoor app that I mentioned as far as the community app. And sure enough, we had an earthquake. We had people feeling it. And I went outside to check out the damage. And this is what I saw. All right, number four is the food. I didn't realize how many people were concerned about the food of a certain location. But I can tell you, I get asked that question a lot. And yes, we have barbecue here and we have tons of barbecue. People in North Carolina love their barbecue. And even people visiting North Carolina want to taste the barbecue. Look, I've had clients and friends come into town and before I can take them to look at a house to invest in, uh, they wanna stop at a barbecue place to eat before we go handle business. Yes, it is that serious. Also, when you come here, be prepared to have fried everything. Again, fried everything. Fried pickles, fried Oreos, fried Twinkies, um, fried lobster. Just don't be surprised if you're out drinking one evening and while you're drinking your craft beer, you're also eating some fried pickles or some fried Oreos. It's just commonplace down here. Now, number five, the fifth commonly asked question I get is about taxes and cost of living. Well, the greater Charlotte area is made up of about four or five counties and they border between North and South Carolina. Now I've touched on taxes and cost of living in some of my other videos, but it's still a common question I get. So be sure to take a look at some of these videos right here. I'm not sure which side, but take a look at that playlist. And hopefully if I don't answer the question here, you'll find the answer in one of those videos. Property tax here in the greater Charlotte area is much less than the national average. And the cost of living is much more affordable here than it would be if you were in the Midwest or Northeast or the far West as far as California. And if you choose to live on the South Carolina side of the greater Charlotte area, you'll be paying even less in taxes. And also, if you're over the age of 65 and living in the South Carolina side, you will get an additional tax saving. A lot of my older clients and investor friends take advantage of this. They live in Fort Mill or Tiga Cay and take advantage of those tax savings while also having rentals in North Carolina 
while taking advantage of those tax savings. It's a pretty smart strategy. And if you're thinking about buying a home in the greater Charlotte area, you will see that here in Charlotte, the median home price is about 280,000. And the national median average for a home is 330,000. Now, if you choose to live in the surrounding county, you can get homes around 250,000. Yes, your money can go pretty far here in the greater Charlotte area. My team and I get calls from people every single day. And we absolutely love helping people in the Charlotte area and those looking to move or relocate in the Charlotte area. So please give us a call, shoot us a text, or just reach out to us. We look forward to hearing from you. Also, check out these other videos if you want to learn more about Charlotte and the area. Talk soon.